Good morning. How's it going? I'm super tired. I just woke up. Welcome back to the vlog. It's very early. I feel disgusting and tired now, so come back later. I, I, I need I need food. I'm just finishing up editing. Well, no, I've finished editing the video. I'm just posting it now. I have a very busy day today. I'm a bit more awake now. As you can see, I have a jumper on, meaning that I am awake. The thought of you not following me on TikTok just made me allergic to it. Uh, doing a TikTok every day. It's fun. It's fun. I, I, I don't know. TikTok's quite nice. It's almost a bit like a lottery. Like, I don't know. Can't really predict when something's gonna blow up, so. I mean, I've been consistently getting like 200 views. What's well, actually pretty good. Um, I'm quite happy with that. But you never know. Uh, maybe one day something might cool might happen. That I, that wasn't English. This is the point of the day where I feel like I'm not getting anything done, but. I think I'm gonna go for a run because I wanna get out. I wanna get out and out and out and see the world for a bit because I haven't been out today. I feel like I'm stuck inside. Tuesdays to Thursdays are weird days for me because it's like I'm not finished with stuff, but it's like almost finished, but it's not enough. I don't really want to get finished today because then that, that's kind of my job for tomorrow and oh, Thursdays are an infuriating day. They're probably one of my least favorite days. I did a, I did a list the other day at the top. It's Friday. Friday's the best day in the whole week. You're happy it's Friday because you have Saturday. Saturday's second. It's a close second. So it's good but then also there's a part of the Saturday where I'm thinking I'm bored and I have nothing else to do. Sunday, third, because yeah, Monday next and Monday sucks. After that, Wednesday. Wednesday is a surprisingly good day. It's like the midpoint of the week. You're like, wow, it's Wednesday already? Today's going, this week's going pretty fast then after that we're monday monday actually a surprisingly decent day i actually quite like mondays because it's like a new start fresh start you get to go back let's talk about what you've done over the weekend if you start if you do your mondays right they can be a good day it's when you do your mondays wrong that's what's bad it goes tuesday you don't always see everyone that you know on monday but you usually see them on tuesday so tuesday's all right and then thursdays thursdays are boring like there's not like it's just theoretically not great it's another thursday and it's about time i go on a run because i'm going crazy I just had a shower and I come out of the shower and my TikTok is uh it's kind of going off. I, I'm kind of <laughs> so this video right here, I posted it today and it's just just started to go off. It's at 2,200. Like it has more views than any of my YouTube videos. Oh, I'm this is crazy. This is it was gonna be a video I was gonna do on my YouTube. But I thought no, I'll save it for TikTok. It feels wrong. Like it feels wrong. I, none of my stuff ever goes like viral or gets on the full you page. So it feels weird. It feels weird. It doesn't feel right. Well, that's going on. I have something planned, and I have to actually find what I'm gonna use. I'm pretty sure I used them earlier on in the vlog, but I didn't do a proper episode number where have I put them? I can't remember where I put them. I put them somewhere. Prop box? I have no idea where stuff is. I have no clue. It's all gonna fall down on me. Oh boy. Oh, hang on a second. I have a stool. Oh, I just ran over my toe. I'm gonna stool it now. Get it? Car? Car punt? I just did a car punt about a stool. Ugh. Prop box. Yeah. Stage of my life where I have a prop box. Will I ever use it? I don't know. Mr. Cubes? They're not in here. Ah. I've genuinely lost it. I don't. Is this helping? No. Oh, you absolutely. Oh, 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 Literally, I just turn on the camera. I need to stop sneezing. Pen. Whoop, whoop. That, hopefully, that looked cool. But it's my dream to be, you know, a big director. I want to direct my own films. I want to direct my own stories. If you know me personally, you probably, I probably don't shut up about this. I just go about this every single time. It's because I'm really passionate about it. And uh, for a long time in my life, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. So this is what this is. This is me. This is what I want to do. When I'm when I have days a bit like today, where I'm feeling a bit uninspired and uncreative. Not uncreative. That's not a word. I like to put myself to the test and see how my skills vary. Hey, ISO is going up. It's gonna look like dog crap now. Hey, I look fried. It's because it's sunset. Like, thank you for going down. Uh, on each side, they have different pictures. Basically, there's nine of them. And we're coming up with an idea and seeing how crazy it can get by using the dice. Right, okay. <laughs> These are the ones I got. Tree. The fuck is it? Cane? A tent. Tortoise. Apple. <coughs> Asthma. No, that wasn't one of the cubes. Old timey calculator. I forgot the name of it. It has a name. It's not coming to me. And house. Now to try and create a story from this. Um, this is gonna. This is. This is not very. That it could have been worse. It could have been worse. Right. Okay. After deliberation and a few different drafts of a story, I have some sort of narrative that I'm actually happy with. It just takes me quite a long time, but I'm. Um, um, I really like these cubes today. I have a really good story that I'm a fan of. It's called the tortoise in the tent. 
Nice bit of alliteration there. There's quite a lot to work with. So the story follows Toby is a young wannabe scientist. I'm thinking Toby is around the age of 13. It's coming of age psychological horror. It gets a bit dark at points, but uh, within reason. Has a massive argument with his parents over Toby doing an experiment in the house. And he has science work do what is to observe sunflowers. But he knows somewhere that has a field of sunflowers. So he runs to the local park uh, with a tent and his pet tortoise. I called the tortoise Timmy. And he finds a nice big tree to set his tent underneath. So while he's setting up his tent, he discovers massive footprints. And Toby, being a 13 year old, think that, oh no, maybe there's a big thing out here to hurt me. He spends days walking around the forest, observing flowers, drawing down pictures. After the second day, he starts building a page about the mysterious footprints he's been finding in the forest. And when he gets back to camp that night, he notices Timmy is missing. He's in panics, he runs around, it's night. He wakes up in the morning, panicked and worried, he goes outside to try and find Timmy, and he decides to start following the footprints. Maybe it's Bigfoot who took it, or some kind of monster hiding in the forest, until he gets to a massive flower field. And across from the flower field, he sees where the footprints stop, he finds an old man with a cane drawing out the footprints. The old man is surprised to see him, and invites him back to his house, which is in the middle of a field. He's reluctant, but he ends up going in. And the old man seems nice at first. Toby talks to the old man about Timmy, until the old man shows shows him an incubator with Timmy inside of it. Toby gets worried, judging that the old man has taken Timmy away from him. So the old man did know he was in the forest. Toby gets suspicious, say, exclaiming that he wants to go home. Imagine Hansel and Gretel. It's kind of that sort of vibe. In a massive end sequence, in the rain, Toby has to escape throughout the fields, throughout all the forests, in a big house by the apple tree. Toby ends up getting home, and that's where the film ends. So inspiration, I'm probably gonna say like, maybe Moonrise Kingdom, as I said, Hansel and Great, all kind of the old fable stories. It would look really good in stop motion. Uh, it'd be a good stop motion. And that is a Tortoise in a Tent. And that is my story. Not the best I've done, but obviously it's a lot to, to handle in there. But I managed to get all the cubes in there. I'm very happy about that. Uh, I'm very surprised. But yeah, that's it. Uh, tell what you think. It's definitely not my best idea, but it's not this. It's nowhere near my worst idea. Oh my God. I, I need to do a video where I show some of my really, really bad ideas. I might do that next week, where I show my bad ideas from like my old, old books that I found the other day. I also need to go through my old drawings as well. I haven't, I haven't done that in a while. But the problem is they're all in the attic. What's the pain? If you did enjoy the video, make sure you hit the like button, hit subscribe, comment on the video what you want to see next, and I will see you tomorrow. This is me signing off.